This is the moment you have been waiting for. You just didn't know it. Uh, we're beginning Eight Weeks of Delight, your Contradictions presentation. Now, actually, it's more than that. It's my Contradictions presentation, and then your Contradictions presentation, that is your groups, and then it's five other groups, okay? Now, you say, well, let me see if it's mine and my group, I mean, mine and yours, and then five more, that's only seven weeks of delight. Now there's one more because we've got a week of preparation. After this first one where I do mine, you get a week where all you've got to do is prepare for yours. Okay? Fantastic. Let's find out what ordeals, I mean, what blessings are in this for you. Okay? First of all, let me talk about the keys to success on this project, and this is really important. Number one, preparation. You've got to make good preparations or it's going to be miserable for you when you make the ultimate uh, uh, presentation. Okay, Preparation is very important. So is punctuality. This thing scoots along every week. There are several things to do. They're not huge things to do, but if you wait, you're going to miss something or you're going to be trying to cram everything into you know one day or something like that. It is, just doesn't work very well. So keep up with it and then you'll have some flexibility and life will be a lot more pleasant. Um, Persistence is the final thing. Don't, you know, don't kind of concentrate on this for half an hour today and then wait three weeks and decide, oh, I guess I got to get serious. Now, if you keep it on your radar here for the next few weeks, you'll be in a lot better shape. Okay, three keys, they all happen to begin with P. Isn't that cute? All right, what are the parts of this presentation? Well, first of all, we've got the introduction and readings. Good news. I do that for you, okay? Basically, here's the deal. When I write my, uh, when I do my presentation, I take this general topic, old world versus new world, and I put it into, uh, you know, I, I say, here's kind of what I conceive of it as a big, broad topic. Give you some readings to give you a sense of the big, broad topic. Uh, actually, I'm not going to give you readings for that one because you don't need to read these. Uh, and then I will focus it down and come up with a focus, which in my case was the Amish, okay? Old world versus new world, I zoom it down to the Amish, and then I come up with some readings that you're going to have to read, all right? Uh, so first thing, introduction and readings, I'm going to do. Second thing, focus introduction and readings, re you're going to do. No, those will be readings that have to do with the Amish. Uh, then I wrote a reading quiz. You're going to write a reading quiz. Uh, I'm going to make a presentation. Uh, in fact, I already made a presentation for my for my uh, focus, and that was it has a little bit of a video that I swiped from PBS. Okay, feel free to do that sort of thing if you can. Uh, it has a um, uh, a little PowerPoint that I uh, created that I voiced over, kind of like this one, except you don't get to look at my lovely face. And um, but if you want to do a YouTube video, if you want to do uh, some sort of a, a, just a text piece, if you want to do a PowerPoint presentation, or whatever you want to do that gets the point across. I, I should mention Prezi, P-R-E-Z-I dot com. Try it out. It's kind of cool. Um, any way you can get the information across. Think of this as being something that we do in about 15 minutes in a class. Because in class, I've got two sections this semester of Comp 2 on campus. In class, we're going to do something like that. They won't. They may do a video, they may do something like that, but they'll probably just talk through most of their stuff. Well, you can't talk through yours, but you can make a video, you can do something else, okay? Uh, that is probably the most significant thing you're going to have to do for this. Uh, then you're going to have to come up with some big questions, and these are the big general questions. Once you've got the focus thing presented, now you say, here are two or three big questions I'd like you to think about. You, and they are discussion starters. They shouldn't be close it off questions, you know, like, is it okay for people to cut buggies off in traffic? No. Instead, maybe, in what case is it okay to cut buggies off in traffic? Okay, that's, that, that's the sort of thing you might want to think about there. Uh, eventually, you're going to have some smaller questions, but those could be uh, generated during the week you're actually doing the presentation. Uh, and then you're going to have a final question. This is the thing that people are going to write about. Uh, you're going to see mine in the, in the week, so I'll, I'll let you use that as a, as a little bit of a guide, and I'll help you with that. Uh, and then the last thing, you don't have to worry about this because I'm going to do this for you, is a readings evaluation where you won't do it, but everybody else in the class will be looking at your sources and saying, well, was that a, 
a credible source? Was it a, a timely source? Was it helpful? And, and ask several questions about it. Just a little survey kind of thing. Just take a couple of minutes to do, uh, and th th you'll get some feedback. And if you, you know, if all of your sources come from Wikipedia or About.com, then uh, you're probably going to hear that they weren't real helpful. Okay. Those those are the eight things, and it looks like a lot, but you know, take heart a little bit. You don't have to mess with this one. You don't have to mess with it. You have to read this one, but you don't have to create it. You don't have to do this one. And these, uh, they, you know, they won't take a huge amount of time. These three are the ones that are really going to take up your time, I think. And, and so that's where you ought to put your attention. Now, this is what my uh, my item, my, my presentation looks like. Unfortunately, I had it scrolled up a little bit. But up here, it says it's the, the general introduction of the readings which I didn't put any readings in because they were for me, not for you, and so I didn't bother having any. Um, here, uh, it had the, uh, the focus introduction and the reading, which you can, you can look at it. It's there for you. See, that's, that's, I've got the readings there. Uh, then the focus presentation, and that's got the video, the two videos, actually. And then three discussions. You'll find those in your, in your folder here. Here are, here are the uh, six folders that have each of your presentations. So if you're in group number three, yours is going to all be there. And then the reading evaluation is down here. Mine is there. You can, you can evaluate my readings if you want to. You can give me all bad grades. It won't change my grade for the semester at all. Uh, but that's, that's the basic deal. That's what it's going to look like. Yours will look a little less populated because all of it hasn't been done. Uh, what should... Okay, that's the parts again. Sorry about that. Um, what should you do now? Well, I would start right now by reading the introduction and the readings. The introduction won't take you but a couple minutes to read. The readings will take you a little bit longer, but they're not huge. Uh, then settle on a focus. Get with your group and do that as soon as you can because if you wait till the last second, you're going to just have to settle on whatever somebody comes up with instead of thinking about it and really come up with something cool. Uh, then select some readings to go along with a focus. And I would take these, all of these things, basically from here on down, and try to divide them up so that you know one person isn't doing everything. You're going to have three or four people in your group, so you know one person or two people could do this, or everybody could come up with one reading. Might be another way to do it. Um, somebody could write the focus introduction. Somebody else could write the reading quiz. Uh, somebody else could send me the readings. Somebody else, I think we've got enough somebody else's. You know, probably a couple or three of you would be involved in making this focus presentation. Uh, and then maybe all of you could do one big question. Uh, take the thing and divide it up. Uh, if one person ends up doing it all, it's going to be a uh, nightmare for that person. It's probably not going to come out that well. And then, you know, again, it does look like a lot, and it is quite a bit, but you've got a whole week to do it, plus any week time you can steal from the, uh, the week of my presentation. Take a deep breath and be ready for your week. Now, if you're in group number one, I guess I'll apologize in advance. Do keep in mind that I've, I kind of cut those people a little bit of slack because they don't have as much time. But if you're in group number one, you've got to be ready on that, on that group one week. If you're in groups two through six, well, you've got a little bit more time. But try to get as much preparation done during the preparation week as you can because that way you can focus on participating in the thing, which you get some points for. Plus, it's just polite. Uh, if you're going to, you know, if you're going to expect everybody else to support you while you're making your presentation time, then you'd better support them and you know participate in discussions and read the materials, all of that stuff. It's, you know, it helps your grade. Plus, it just helps you guys not feel like you're doing this all alone. Okay, this is a challenge. I don't give you the assignment because it's easy. I give it to you because it's a challenge because it's a little bit hard. Uh, but you can do it. It's worked before. It'll work again. And uh, let's try to have some fun with it and see where it takes us. I'm excited.